Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Like Me Easy. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your uh, internet speed on your Xbox One. Let's get right into it. Yeah, I'm like, oh god, oh, oh my god. Into this video, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to get notified exactly when I upload, and comment down below. And now let's get into the video. Okay, so guys, uh, for the first step, you want to make your way into settings. Um, most of this is going to be all in settings, just so you guys can get a baseline of your internet speed, as well as uh, see the improvements after we make the change to DNS settings, but we'll get into that later. Uh, so first, go into settings, and I'm probably going to have my IP address just blurred out, so for uh, personal reasons. Um, go to network settings. That boot up. Then here it shows like your wireless network and everything. So uh, you can also test net network connection. This will give you a baseline. And go to test multiplayer connection. And this is probably going to take a couple seconds, so I'll cut it and I'll be back. Okay, so it's saying I'm all good. Uh, you just want to run through these things really quick so uh, you make sure that you're Connections actually doesn't actually have an issue with it. So I'll click continue. Uh, then you can go to detailed network statistics, and I'll probably cut once this is done. Okay, so uh, just finished up, guys. As you can see, these are my network statistics. I got a 64.79 download, which is pretty solid. Uh, five upload, which is eh, it's okay. I mean, for the most part, uh, you're gonna want to look at download when it comes to games. You're not really uploading anything, but. Um, I mean, if you're a YouTuber, then you, you probably want a fast upload speed just because you're uploading content, but that's besides the point. Uh, wireless strength, that's pretty important. EDT, that's pretty good. And then latency, you want that to be low. Um, I think anything over 100 for latency is, like, not as good, so. Okay, and then you can see NAT type. You want an open NAT type. I'm not really sure how to change your NAT type. I might do that in a future tutorial once I learn how to do that. So if you guys want to see how to change your uh, NAT type, just uh, leave a comment down below. Yeah. Okay, so then you want to make your way into advanced settings. I'm probably going to blur out the IP address right here. Uh, and then you want to go down to DNS. And as you can see for DNS, it's got... Um, these numbers, that's basically what server you're connected to, and this is what we're going to play with right here. And we're going to see if there's actually a change in internet speed if we change these DNS settings. I mean, this is for Xfinity slash Comcast, I believe. That's what the 75s mean. That means I'm connected to the Xfinity server, um, and you can change the server. Basically, you want to connect it to some cloud server, which I'm going to do here, or you can connect it to uh, Google, say, and see if there's any difference. So that's basically what we're going to be doing, guys. Very straightforward. Um, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible for you. Uh, I know some other tutorials um, are kind of confusing. So give me one sec, and I'll plug in this stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, so next, you guys are going to want to click uh, Manual. And then for the primary uh, DNS settings, I'm going to be using uh, a server called Cloudflare DNS. Uh, you can also use Google. You can just search DNSs up on uh, up on the internet. So if you don't like this one, you can go try out other ones. So let's get right into it. The DNS for this is going to be uh, the primary one. Make sure this is primary. One dot one dot one dot one. Hit enter on that. Secondary is going to be one dot zero dot zero. Oh, sorry, no, dot one, hit enter. Okay, so as you can see, the DNS settings changed right here. Um, yeah, I'm just looking to blur out my IP address. I don't want to give that out, but... Um, so let's go test our settings now. Okay, we're all good. Let's detail now our statistics. Now, this may or may not work, so if this isn't successful... Um, could happen, could uh, could not really help, could help, just depends on the DNS server you want to connect to, that's all that matters. Let this load up, and I'll cut back. Okay, so guys, as you can see, uh, not much of a big change for me. I think my latency stayed around the same, 
uh, I forget what it was originally, but it's, I think it's in the 70s. Uh, upload speed, slightly decreased, but honestly, that's like no change. Um, I think the major change you're going to see here is download speed, because that's most important when it comes to gaming. Uh, so mine went up slightly. Uh, it can depend. Uh, it's not a massive change. I think that's basically because I have pretty good internet in my house. So if you guys are struggling uh, and are very uh, lagging in a lot of your games and your frame rate is down, um, this could definitely be helpful for you. Uh, as I said before, you can just search up different DNS's uh, servers and see which one works for you the best. So, uh, yeah, I hope this helped. I just learned actually that this can also help fix your NAT type. If you do have a strict NAT type, you can change your DNS server and this could uh, hopefully make it open so you can connect with more people online for multiplayer. I know that's a major issue. So if you want to make, if you want me to make a whole separate video on that, I can. But uh, with all that being said, guys, I hope this was beneficial. This tutorial, you actually learned something useful. And um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Leave a like on this video. Do all that good stuff. Comment down below if this helped you. Uh, leave any video suggestions down in the comments. And if you want to be a member of the channel, I did just recently get um, monetization feature, so you can uh, become a member and support the channel. Um, and you can also check out the Amazon affiliate links in the description. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.